Big news for boomers. A new song from a new Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee stepping away from Motley Crue. And New Orleans alternative rockers deliver a contact high. It's Friday, November 3rd, 2023. I'm Jim Allen, and this is No Time to Rock. Before we get rolling this week, I just want to say thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel, left a comment. Uh, a couple of my long-form videos now have passed 1,000 views. The channel couldn't grow without you. Thank you so much. Here we go with this week's new singles. Okay, Boomer, here it is, the final song ever from the Beatles, Now and Then. It cleverly uses sophisticated AI to enhance John Lennon's vocals from the track's original 1979 demo and supplements them with new recorded parts from Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. And honestly, I think it's actually a pretty good song. Look Ma No Brains is single number two from Green Day's forthcoming Saviors album due in January. The Saviors tour will cover much of 2024, with dates across the EU, the UK, Canada, and the US. Just before her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Sheryl Crow announces her 11th studio album, Evolution, will arrive on March 29th. Lead single, Alarm Clock, is part of this week's playlist, written as a tribute to his late mother, and still, the 11th single from Peter Gabriel's I.O. is available on all streaming platforms. The full-length album is out December 1st. Contact High is new this week from New Orleans alternative rockers Better Than Ezra. It follows the Mystified single released earlier this summer. Their as-yet-untitled new album, their first since 2014, is out next year. Guided by Voices released the energetic track The Race Is On, The King Is Dead. Nowhere to Go But Up, their third album, album this year arrives November 24th. His first ever solo album since leaving Motley Crue, The Other Side of Mars, is due in February of 2024 from guitarist Mick Mars. Lead single Loyal to the Lie is available now. Survivor founder and Eye of the Tiger co-writer Jim Peterick and REO Speedwagon vocalist Kevin Cronin team up for Dangerous Combination. Peterick's Roots and Shoots Volume 1 will be released on January 12th. Long-running industrial metal rockers Ministry are back with the outrage anthem Just Stop Oil from next year's Hopium for the Masses. The song Road to Freedom is available on all streaming platforms today. The Lenny Kravitz composed and recorded tune will be featured in the Netflix film Rustin. New full-length albums this week. Former Smiths guitarist Johnny Marr curates a collection from the last 10 years away from the Smiths. Spirit Power, the best of Johnny Marr. Available in a 2LP CD and 2CD configuration, the package also includes new songs, Somewhere, and The Answer. Their first full-length album in 22 years, Semisonic are back with only their fourth collection of new material, Little Bit of Sun. Lal Talhurst, one of the founding members of The Cure, releases the collaboration Los Angeles with one-time Susie and the Banshees drummer Budgie and noted Irish music producer and mixer Jackknife Lee. U2's The Edge and LCD Sound System's James Murphy are among the guest credits. The legacy of the Parrothead lives on, as Jimmy Buffett's final studio recording, Equal Strain on All Parts, drops on CD today, with a vinyl release on the way in December. Before we move on to this week's deluxe editions, if you like staying up to date on your favorite classic, alternative, and indie artists from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, like, subscribe, comment. Mmm! This week's deluxe editions and reissues include Oasis, The Master Plan, 25th Anniversary Remastered Edition on CD and vinyl. It's a compilation of B-sides that were previously unavailable in a single package up to that point in 1998. And by the way, if you click through to my Amazon.com affiliate link, somebody is selling that on Minidisc. Still on Minidisc, and that's not a new reissue, by the way. Dave Matthews Band's quadruple platinum 1998 release Before These Crowded Streets is being re-released today in a special 2LP vinyl-only edition. This was the band's first album to debut at number one on the Billboard album chart. Another vinyl-only title, The Vinyl Collection Volume 2 from Billy Joel, is being released today. It's 11 LPs, beginning with 1980's Glass Houses through 2001's classical music album Fantasies and Delusions, and for the first time ever, the 3LP collection, Live from Long Island. And available as a 3CD or 3LP plus bonus 12-inch single, Bob Marley's Catch a Fire gets a 50th anniversary treatment that you can pick up today if you're so inclined. Several live recordings, alternate and extended versions, are included in both configurations. A couple of live albums, actually this one sort of straddles the fence between live album and deluxe edition. Dire Straits Live, 1978-1992, a 12-LP collection compiling Alchemy, On the Night, Encores, Live with the BBC, and Live from the Rainbow Theater 1979. It's available today in most places, except the United States. Here in the colonies, we'll have to wait until January. Three CDs and one DVD of Todd Rundgren at the BBC 1972-1982, to 
The no-region NTSC formatted DVD in particular will allow hardcore Rundgren fans to toss a lot of their bootleg recordings. If you're ready to check out this week's new music, the curated playlist is up here, my special Rolling Stones episode is up here, last week's episode, in case you missed it, is also up here, somewhere, and no matter what, however you do it, don't you ever stop rocking.